welcome back to my overview on how I teach the theory of post-traumatic growth. Now I go in deep dives in my trainings, but I want to just give an overview of it. As a, a reminder, I explain it using the theory and metaphor of a sugar maple tree in the process of the tree and how to make maple syrup. But I use acronyms to connect those stories throughout all my lessons. So the overarching use of the metaphor is very important. Now I use it to teach you that you can become a trial tapper or to tap the inside pain that's inside of you. I use those metaphors. So the first uh, acronym I use is the trials to explain the domains and that I used in a previous video. And then I use the uh, metaphor and acronym of tapper to understand the how I get there and how I teach post-traumatic growth. So when I break down the tapper theory, I then have acronyms for each letter of the word tapper. In my past video, I just explained the concept of the trunk and how that concept of the, the person we need to explain in the, in the core information about post-traumatic growth. Now in this video, we're going to talk about the second letter in the word trunk as the rings. In a metaphor tapper, the first letter is for the letter T for trunk, and I explained that in the prior video. The next letter in the word tapper is for the annual rings. And so the annual rings are those rings of wellness, right? The, the annual rings of the tree, you cut that, it represents those um, what happens inside the tree and the, and the life period of that tree. And I teach this concept that the, the annual rings of the maple tree represent the boundaries and the coping mechanisms that we must develop, right? Throughout our life, we have to maintain this emotional well-being. So each ring um, in the tree signifies a year of growth. Um, some seasons are easier than others. Uh, similarly, in our annual rings of wellness, um, that represents these various ways that we can protect ourselves during uh, these challenges. So these are short and long-term goals that must be evaluated constantly to keep you on track, right? So the annual rings of wellness include um, generally um, healthy relationships, personal boundaries, uh, uh, changing that uh, inner thoughts, those negative inner thoughts. We um, help control those emotional uh, emotions in a healthy way. We start targeting those uh, observable behaviors um, to try to make some improvements there. And we practice this uh, general well-being, uh, these activities that help uh, these the safety around us. So I break that down into the acronym of RINGS, R-I-N-G-S. So when we are refining that individual growth in these strategies. So the first letter in the letter rings is the letter R, right? So I, I coin that as the, uh, the reliable relationships or relationships are important, right? So when we try to help and look and see this in the theory, we see this a lot, that relationships are important. So trial tappers emphasize that the importance of setting these healthy boundaries to protect yourself uh, and within you know, those relationships, right? They, they guide others in establishing these limits and expressing these effectively. So you need to find those expert guides or those companions to help you on this journey to recovery. So those people that you pick are important. So the next letter in the rings is the letter I, that's for the inner thoughts. So the inner thoughts, they promote um, this idea and this development of control of those inner thoughts, right? And you focus on the positive self-talk that's going on so we take a deep dive into that. The next letter in, in the rings is the letter N for nurturing your emotions. So when we look at trial tappers, they understand the significance of nurturing your emotions and how you control those and, and work with those. So this involves uh, acknowledging them, understanding their, your triggers and developing healthy co coping mechanisms to manage them effectively. So this is about creating an environment where your emotions can be expressed in a healthy way. The next letter is the letter G for your growing actions. 
So they acknowledge this value of targeting those, those positive behaviors and avoiding the negative behaviors, right? So you got to look at your observable behaviors and what you're doing, whether that's you acknowledge that or other people are telling you that, that's what we're going to focus on. The next letter in the, in the rings is the letter S for you're strengthening yourself. We do this by incorporating these strategies that trial tapper use to help individuals develop their own uh, annual rings, right, of wellness and, and practices. Uh, we enable them to face the future and their challenges with this greater strength and stability. So much like the ever-growing rings of the healthy maple tree that keep growing, you can also do this. Now, these things can include, again, those healthy boundaries, setting limits, um, saying no to protect your emotional energy, um, setting boundaries and expressing them the things you need in an effective way, these self-care routines, engaging activities that promote this uh, relaxation and emotional well-being, uh, making sure you're in some supportive relationships, uh, cultivating a network of people who can offer you understanding and encouragement, uh, maybe you have those peer support groups, these rings become you know stronger and stronger over time and allowing us to face, face these challenges with um, greater resilience um, just like that growing rings of the maple tree continue on and on this is the concept of r-i-n-g-s so those rings that we need to create around us and protect us as we continue to grow in our post-traumatic growth if you found any value in this please like and share with others and we're going to talk more about this in the next video. So thanks for watching.